Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are having one very interesting cubic equation challenge. It is x plus 1 whole power 4 plus x minus 2 whole cube plus 10 is square equal to x minus 1 whole power 4 plus x plus 2 whole cube plus 6 cube. And we have to find out real solutions only. This equation is cubic because of once we will expand x plus 1 whole power 4 and x minus 1 whole power 4, the leading term x power 4 will be cancelled out from both sides. So the leading degree or highest power would be 3. So that is why this equation is cubic. Now I will rearrange the terms. So x plus 1 whole power 4 minus x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to x plus 2 whole cube minus x minus 2 whole cube plus 6 cube minus 10 square. Now I will use exponent property. I can write this x plus 1 whole power 4 as x plus 1 whole square 2 power 2 whole square. Similarly, x minus 1 whole square and then we will have power 2 using exponent law. Right hand side, we will write x plus 2 whole cube minus x minus 2 whole cube. 6 cube is 216, 10 is square is 100. Now I will use the two identities, but before that let me write x plus 1 whole square. So x square plus 2x plus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 whole square x square minus 2x plus 1 whole square equal to x plus 2 whole cube and then I will be writing x minus 2 whole cube and then it is 116 216 minus 100. Now both sides if you can see the algebraic formulas we will apply. Left hand side if I will presume this is a. This bracket I will consider b. Then it is a square minus b square formula. So I will use, I will write instead of a plus b times a minus b. Come to RHS. If I will consider this is c. Suppose this is d. Then it is c cube minus d cube formula. Similar as a cube minus b cube. So I will write c minus d. In second bracket c square plus c d plus d square. So let us apply the identities. I will write LHS as a plus b. So once you will add x square plus 2x plus 1 with x square minus 2x plus 1. So 2x minus 2x will be over. So what is left that is 2x square plus 2. Second bracket a minus b. So x square plus 1 term will be over this time. 2x plus 2x, 4x equal to c minus d. So x plus 2 minus x plus 2. So 4. This bracket will generate x plus 2 minus of x minus 2. So 4 will be there. Now in bracket it is c square plus d square plus c d. What is c? x plus 2. So x plus 2 whole square plus x minus 2 whole square plus x plus 2 times x minus 2. This is CD term. So I will close the bracket and then after it is 116. Now left hand side if you will see it is 2 common. So I can write 2 times 4 times x and then bracket x square plus 1. Now right hand side, 4 times n bracket, it is x plus 2 whole square. So let me write x square plus 4x plus 4, x minus 2 whole square, x square minus 4x plus 4, then x plus 2 times x minus 2, a square minus b square, so x square minus 4, bracket close, 116 is there. Now I will cancel few terms, minus 4x plus 4x will be over. 
now what is left c4 and 4 will also get over now left hand side if you will see it is 8 times x in bracket x square plus 1 right hand side it would be 4 times in bracket 3x square plus 4 and then we have got 116 let us write here so it will become 8 times x in bracket x square plus 1 right hand side it is 4 times 3x square plus 4 times 116 now i will take all the term to lhs so once i will take all the term to lhs it will be 8 times x q plus x minus 4 times 3x square plus 4 minus 116 equal to 0 equation is divisible by 4 so let us divide first so 2 times x cube plus x minus 3x square plus 4 and after dividing this by 4 i will write 29 equal to 0 let's open this bracket 2x cube plus 2x minus 3x square minus 4 minus 29 equal to 0 so i will write the cubic equation as 2x cube minus 3x square plus 2x and then we are having minus 33 equal to 0 see this kind of cubic equation we solved many times and every time we used to solve using sdm and rational root theorem method but this time we will use factorization method so i will split minus 3x square as 2x cube minus 6x square plus 3x square so it is minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 plus 2x minus 33 equal to 0 now we will factorize it from the first two term i can see it is 2x square common so once i will take 2x square out it will be left in the bracket x minus 3 now 2x square times x minus 3 now what is left let us factorize it 3x square plus 2x minus 33 equal to 0 let us write here so 2x square x minus 3 and the quadratic equation was 3x square then it was 2x let me write here 2x minus 33 now i will split this 2x as you can see 33 times 3 is 99 so i can split this as 11 minus 9 so 3x square plus 11x minus 9x it is 2x and take the product it is minus 99 minus 33 equal to 0 so i will rearrange terms only 3x square minus 9x plus 11x minus 33 equal to 0 i will take 3x common so in bracket x minus 3 i will take 11 common so in bracket it is x minus 3 same and see the first term is 2x square x minus 3 plus now you can see x minus 3 is overall common so i will take x minus 3 complete common then it would be left in the bracket 2x square from this place 3x from this place and from constant term 11 so i will write 2x square plus 3x plus 11 equal to 0 factorization is done so i will write from this equation either x minus 3 equal to 0 or 2x square plus 3x plus 11 equal to 0 now let's check discriminant from this quadratic equation so if i will write delta value so it is b square 
सो थ्री स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी फोर टाइम्स ए इज टू सी इज इलेवन सो थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन माइनस एट टाइम्स इलेवन एट्टी एट सो दिस इज माइनस सेवेंटी नाइन नेगेटिव वैल्यू डेल्टा इज नेगेटिव सो कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन विल बी हेयर कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन सो वी वोट कंसिडर दैट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इक्वेशन एक्स माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन राइट एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री लेट्स चेक वेरीफाई इट सो आई विल पुट एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो लेट एस अप्लाई इट विल बिकम थ्री प्लस वन होल पार फोर प्लस थ्री माइनस टू होल क्यू प्लस टेन स्क्वायर इज हंड्रेड इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस वन होल पार फोर देन थ्री प्लस टू होल क्यू देन इट इज टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी नाउ द फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट थ्री प्लस वन इट इज फोर फोर पार फोर इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस थ्री माइनस टू इज वन वन क्यूब इज वन प्लस वन राइट हैंड साइड थ्री माइनस वन होल पार फोर सो इट इज टू पार फोर सिक्सटीन प्लस थ्री प्लस टू फाइव क्यू वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ यू विल एड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस वन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवन प्लस हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सेवन चेक योर राइट हैंड साइड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस सिक्सटीन वन फोर्टी वन वन फोर्टी वन प्लस सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी सेवन प्लस टू हंड्रेड so yes it is 357 that means x is equal to 3 is the only real solution possible for this cubic equation challenge so our ultimate answer is x equal to 3 which is real solution i hope you like this video friends bye bye till next video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye take care of yourself